first at noon, a scare at a local school. Police are called to Dillard High School to investigate a report of a gun on campus. When it was over, one person was taken into custody. Police say they never found a weapon, but that didn't stop worried parents and students from taking action. CBS 4's Joe Murray is live at Diddler High with more on what happened. Joan. And good afternoon, Elliot. Well, there's nothing like a code red to get your heart pumping if you are a parent or a student. And that is exactly what happened here this morning. It turned out to be a false alarm, but it felt very real. It's scary knowing that's, you know, you see your kids to school and situations like this occur. It's life, but it's scary. Kamika Porter among a crowd of anxious parents who drove straight to Dillard High after learning there was a lockdown. I got a cold red um, text on my phone and also my son called me, well, texted me and let me know that it was a cold red and someone was on the campus with a gun. In this photo snapped inside, you see Fort Lauderdale police detaining a student. Police say they did not find a weapon anywhere. He's actually lying under a, um, a desk since so I know that he's okay. Rebecca FaceTime with her niece inside Dillard who described students hiding in closets and under desks. She was actually under a desk and that there was a kid on campus um, that had been in a fight in the day before and I guess came back with a gun. Even though the code was lifted, she signed her family members out. Denisia Cobb, who hid in a closet, described the fear in that uncertain moment. It was scary because dark and because they, if they were shooting, we didn't want to get hurt and we want to be protected. Despite the false alarm, it's clear once more what happened at nearby Douglas High two and a half months ago never leaves anybody's mind. We shouldn't have to feel like we're in jail. We shouldn't have to come to school every day to get searched or have these problems. Now, again, no gun was found. The lockdown was lifted and school resumed as normal, but anyone who wanted to leave was allowed to be signed out. No word at this point whether that student will face any charges. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.